An online feud between rappers Kodak Black and Jack Boy is now being blamed for bullets flying in Sanford. Both of these uh -oh. rappers are from the na same neighborhood down in South Florida. Didn't he just get out? <laughs> he was throwing right rocks back, at the right back in. <laughs> <laughs> right back in. Trump, um, this is the guy Trump mm, pardoned. There you go. Yo, since Trump pardoned him, what was that, like four years ago almost? Yeah. But he's been in so much trouble. Like, he's been... <laughs> Yo, what the fuck, man? Mm -mm -mm. Neighborhood down in South Florida. An online feud between rappers Kodak Black and Jack Boy is now being blamed for bullets flying in Sanford. Both of these rappers... Smash that like. We're going for 400 likes. Smash that like. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Everybody who's in here who's yet to hit the like button, go on and hit it are from the na same neighborhood down in South Florida. And the shooting happened after a concert here at the barn last year. And this woman was killed. Thanks for joining us of on this. Course. Of yeah. course. Of course this woman gets killed in a beef between Kodak Black and Jack Boy. My God, how dumb. How typical, yeah. too. Typical, yeah. This is, this is, this is infuriating. Kodak Black and Jack Boy have a beef, and this woman dies because of it. And then no one, no one's gonna give you fuck, and we gotta, we gotta keep just eating it. We gotta, we gotta eat this shit sandwich they keep feeding us every day. And guess where Kodak Black and Jack Boy are right now? On the fucking street. Florida, and the shooting happened after a concert here at the barn last year, and this woman was killed. Thanks for joining us on this Monday. I'm Luann Sorrell. And I'm John Brown. Now 13 people are behind bars, and there's still one who's out there on the loose. Fox 35 Stephanie Buffmonte joins us live with that story today. So Stephanie, walk us through the motive here. So there was a public argument between two rappers on social media. Detectives believe a local gang wanted to prove themselves by shooting one of those rappers while they were performing here in Sanford. But ultimately, six innocent victims were shot. Now, this photo that's coming up on your screen. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> what? You heard, you heard that right. Oh, my God. So there was a public argument between two rappers on social media. Detectives believe a local gang wanted to prove themselves by shooting one of those rappers while they were performing here in Sanford. But ultimately, six innocent victims were shot. Now, this photo that's coming up on your screen, this is Princess Tulliver. She was shot and killed in that drive-by shooting. Five others were hurt. The sheriff says rapper. Five others were hurt. We don't know the severity of their injuries. They could have been maimed, all types of shit. They just gonna they survived, so they're just gonna say they were hurt. Breeze through it, yeah. They were injured by bullets. <laughs> this is I mean these wow. it just it just like never ending, you know? But but wow. again, I mean again on top of like this, we gotta hear the woke sons, not the violent sons, but the like fraternity sons <laughs> can advocate for these clowns, you know, and we all just have to accept it. I'm telling you, but oh yeah, all the all the uh, caveats and shit and uh, and Kodak Black and Jack Boy, they won't have to answer one question about this. They'll go on yeah. They'll go to the Grammys, they'll go to the American Music Awards, and they'll be brought on stage. <laughs> right. Right. And, and then and then he'll fuck up again. And it'll be the same. It'll be rinse and repeat. And he fucks Charlemagne up will talk to them. Char Charlemagne the God will go on a die trap about how right. terrible person Donald Trump is and how Candace Owens is a this, right. that, and the third. And, and then in the cares. next segment. He'll interview, he'll be cackling up there with Kodak Black about some right. shit. Yeah, man, I hate the, I hate it here. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, like, didn't Kodak Black just get out of jail? He just got out yeah, of jail. Yeah, a few like, days ago. 
I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you that in a minute. That's coming up on your screen. They this is Princess Tulliver. She was shot and killed in that drive-by shooting. Five others were hurt. The sheriff says rapper Jack Boy had a concert at the barn in Sanford back in January 2023. Jack Boy left in an SUV and a group with him left in a Mercedes Sprinter van and they were driving behind it's him poverty. on Reinhardt Road when the shots <clears throat> rang out. Sheriff's detectives say members of a local gang, OTF, which is affiliated with the Crips, one of the largest street gangs in the country, thought Jack Boy was in the van that those women were in. And that's why de deputies say they shot into it with armor piercing bullets. Now there was a public feud between Jack Boy and rapper Kodak Black. Deputies so they thought he was in there and they that's still no guarantee you're gonna hit him by just shooting into the van. <laughs> right. Like it's like. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just fucking retarded. <laughs> The, this sister died like she was. Her name was Vito Ambolini. So those girls was in. They were groupies or something like that, or, or um, chicks that just wanted to roll with, yeah. back to the hotel to tell you with Jack Boy in them. Yeah. And you know what? This, you know what they were? They were proximal. Very proximal. Damn. Fuck, man that those women were in. And that's why de deputies say they shot into it with armor piercing bullets. Now there was a public feud between Jack Boy and rapper Kodak Black. Deputies believe the local gang tried to shoot Jack Boy for street validation. The sheriff's office doesn't believe Kodak Black was involved at all and did not pay them to shoot anyone. After months of tireless investigating, eight suspects were arrested. The other five who are facing charges were already in jail. Sheriff Dennis Lima hopes these arrests bring some... Eight were arrested. <laughs> five were already in jail. Yeah. Well, other shit. <laughs> And imagine what it took for them to, to get a charge for them to stay in jail and not be released. Think about that. For those five, what did they do? What else did they do? Something similar, probably. <laughs> Shit. A tireless investigating believe Kodak Black was involved at all and did not pay them to shoot anyone. After months of tireless investigating, eight suspects were arrested. The other five who are facing charges were already in jail. Sheriff Dennis Lima hopes these arrests bring some peace to the community after a very scary and tragic shooting. This entire case is incredibly frightening to think that uh, we look at nothing more than, than uh, you know, People coming in to, to Seminole County from out of the area uh, want to spend time with, with friends, go to a concert. I mean, things that most people have done. And at 2.20 in the morning to, to be the victim of uh, a drive-by shooting uh, with two, two, three armor-piercing rifle rounds is incredibly frightening. Now, what you're looking mm. on your screen is diversity. the shots of the 13 people diversity. facing charges. <laughs> it's worse than the last one, man. God damn, man. <laughs> Shit. Is that, is that an, a tiger up there? And a tiger? Nah, no, right? Is that a burrito? <laughs> some I'm burrito? Trying to, I'm trying to throw some the, the tiger's way, that's all. Yo, think about this, man. So that was seven in the last one, right? This is 13. That's 20 in just two cases. And they say that they're, yo, there's too many black people in jail. Yeah. Like, yo, look, man. <laughs> right. Yo. Come yeah. on, man. Look at all these lives growing. And both cases are bl a black women dead. Two black women dead and 20 people in custody for those two black women dead. Mm. Protect black women. Protect black women. <laughs> Shit. Yo, Ak, this is what you were talking about uh, last night when you said, you know, you're just doing your thing, but any moment you can get killed, you know? Yeah. 
any, any moment. moment you can get killed in any moment you can be you like this is their this is their the end of their story some of them yeah yeah you know what i'm saying it just it just boom like hey man that nigga jack boy who you know who jack boy the nigga before go that oh for real yeah he got a showdown at such and such man you know what i'm saying man let's go fire that motherfucker up man Maybe you know what I'm saying niggas and no put put the hood on and shit. All right. Yep. Basically. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> In the nutshell, yeah. sure, right? Yeah. Yo, and those Dang. names are crazy too. Check out the names. Like uh you got Quard Quardarius, Danica, Jaquan, Rovante. Michael. You got your Michael, Damn. Jaquan. You got nigger? Ry Garius. Uh, Ry Garius. <laughs> he, he said the nigger. What is his name? Ry Garius. I don't know what the fuck. What, this is. Damn. Damn. This dude's name is Darling. And his name oh. is Robin. Yo, they had to go extra hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I know for a fact, Darling. He's the shooters. We got the shooters, y'all. Darling <laughs> and, and, and Rob, and they the shooters. Yeah, yeah. Did it. yeah, they had to prove themselves. They were. Uh, they had to prove themselves. Mm. Some of these sons look real hard too. They yeah. Like they, they get, shoot, you look at them wrong. Yeah, Jaquan Niggas. looks like he's yeah. mad upset. The one in the middle, right? The yeah. one in the bottom middle. He looks yeah. Super yeah. Look, no solutions, guys. This is like a tribe, a whole tribe. In Africa. <laughs> yeah. God, yeah. It's our yeah. version of the savannah. You got like a, a zebra just be eating grass and all of a sudden predator yeah. come out of nowhere. That's the end of the tribe. <laughs> That's the end a of the tribe. This is a lion pride, man. This is a whole pride right here, man. More, more, more like vultures. Oh, shit. Like scavengers. Man. This story is just insane, man. Yeah, to man. Seminole County from out of the area. Uh, Want to spend time with, with friends, go to a concert. I mean, things that most people have done. And at 2.20 in the morning to, to be the victim of uh, a drive-by shooting uh, with two, two, three armor-piercing rifle rounds is incredibly frightening. Now, what you're looking on your screen is are the mugshots of the 13 people facing charges that we just got from the sheriff's office. There is still one suspect that is still out there that they are looking for. Oh, His name is shit. Trayvon Lott. <laughs> and what do you no. know? This is Trayvon's town, Sanford. What do you know, man? The guy's name is Trayvon. Ain't that a motherfucker, man? No, Jason. Wow. He's straight out vote. Yo, he's going to the feds too. He got one count Rico. He's going to the feds. Shit. Man. <laughs> look, look. I mean, I mean, they're hunting their son, man. They're not wrong when they say, oh, we're being hunted. Yeah, this one right here is being hunted right now. Yo, but he you killed his sister. You, you go to jail and these guys are in there. Yeah. I mean, think about it, man. Like, you're some white guy, right? <laughs> and some son man, some son team, like uh is like making you feel hella uncomfortable and shit. And you got a concealed carry, and then like he starts reaching and you reach and you pull out your gun and you shoot him, and they're like, No, nope, you can't kill a son man, man. No mm. something for you. In fact, we gonna hit you with a hate crime, and you end up in jail with these fuckers. <laughs> And they're all booty band. I, I promise you, all these dudes is booty band is on, on in jail. I'm not maybe not on the street, but in jail, all these dudes is booty band. That's crazy. Yo, no, no, yeah. you just made a great point for the gliders. Right? That's a yeah. great point you just made. You gotta let shit ride, gliders. If some man piss you off, yo, if, if he don't, you gotta be like the cops. You gotta wait for him to point the gun at you, man. Right, yeah, gliders, <laughs> gliders. It's it's only a car. It's only your manhood. Don't worry. About it. Don't yeah, know. who wants to? Who, yeah. who wants to go to prison? Like, think about it. This is just the fresh group that's going in today, man. <laughs> this is this is this, this like is the part news. of it. The news. Yeah, this is this is part of the new um of the of the of, of the, 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 the new recruits. This is just a proportion of it, man. But it's a good sample. It's a good sample of what's in there waiting for you. 
Yeah, in Sanford. This is not like a huge city either. This isn't like Miami or or or, or Tampa. This is just a little mm. teeny little town, Sanford. <laughs> right, right. Now we see why George Zimmerman did what he <laughs> did, man. He knew right. what was going on out in Sanford. It's <laughs> like what nothing going on out in Sanford. Right, right. Look, look, I know one thing. I, I'm going to get going, but I do want to say, if I'm being too hard on these sun men here, I apologize. Um, I know that not all some people are like this. Not all, you know, y'all be safe. Yeah, thank you, man. It's, it's, it's not all of us, man. Um, it, it, it's it's just um, it's just any of us at any given time. Peace out, wicked. Wow, Doug Chunks, man. We talking about Ark Nation Hall of Fame. We talking about Mount Rushmore, man. My man Doug Chunks is on Mount Rushmore, man. Fifty Ark Nation memberships. Eat them up, man. Pause. Make sure y'all get them 50 Nation memberships. My man came through heavy. Doug Chunks in the building. Mount Rushmore. Jesus Christ. Seminole County from out of the area. I uh, want to spend time with, with friends, go to a concert. I mean, things that most people have done. And at 2.20 in the morning to, to be the victim of uh, a drive-by shooting, uh, with two, two, three armor piercing rifle rounds is incredibly frightening. Now, what you're looking on your screen is are the mugshots of the 13 people facing charges that we just got from the sheriff's office. There is still one suspect that is still out there that they are looking for. His name is Trayvon Law. He is facing a slew of charges, including first degree murder. If you have any information that could help this investigation and find him, you can call Crimeline anonymously with a tip. Reporting live in Sanford, Steph. <sighs> Yo, Ak, you think uh, during segregation or before segregation, these sons would hide in the black population? And white folks would get mad and be like, hey, is so-and-so in there? And sons yeah. would be like, nah, nah, nope, he ain't in there. And they, they just got fed up and like, you know what? Let's segregate. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, yo, the segregation was nothing more than like a uh, a great a decision, like a like a um a, a safety. It was safe. Jim Crow was a safety issue, man. It was a it was a provision, a safety provision, man. You can't live with these people, man. Yo, you can't. <laughs> Yo, are you? This is Sanford, little old teeny little Sanford, man. It all it like just look at everything that happened. The rapper, he has a feud with another rapper. He's not even watching out for the rapper. Just some random dudes in the next town he had a show in was like, yo, we gonna shoot him just to get some. What? How do you guard against that? How do you? prevent that what program what program <laughs> prevents that <laughs> you know what i'm saying like like yeah. what, what 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 program like all right we're gonna deal with at-risk youth like this is beyond at risk yeah, extermination is the only program <laughs> yo this is Kodak Black a few days ago when he got out of jail. And good evening. Off the top at six tonight, we begin with breaking news. Rapper Kodak Black has just bonded out of jail. And he got aggressive with local 10 news reporter Rosh Lowe. Rosh is live at the Broward Jail in Fort Lauderdale to show us what happened. Rosh. I've been doing this a long time, and let me tell you, this is one of the strangest things I have ever seen. Not only did he get aggressive with my photographer, Brian Murphy, but he actually started throwing rocks at this photographer, simply doing his job, Kodak Black started throwing rocks. I want you to listen to this for a moment. Don't throw anything at our camera. Yeah, 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 Don't throw anything at our camera. Don't throw anything at our camera. Yeah, uh, 
So what happened after that, uh, and we have more audio that we'll play for you later tonight, Kodak Black threatened to punch me repeatedly. And, uh, you know, we didn't back down. We're simply doing our job, trying to get this guy coming out of the Broward jail. And you'll see him here. Uh, he was actually, he's been behind bars since December. He was a violation of probation. He was actually free today. He comes out of the Broward jail. I walk up those steps and there's Kodak Black. And uh, the first thing I was alone without a photographer, he threatened to punch me. And then our photographer gets up there and you saw it there on, on the video. Now, I, I don't know if we have the capability to do this, but if we can listen to that sound one more time, I want you just to see what Kodak Black was doing. Can we, can we listen to that again? If we can't listen to it again, you heard it the first time. He, okay, he picks up a rock and he just chucks it at our photographer. You know, this is very interesting. This is somebody who's been in trouble. Okay, we're gonna do it. Let's listen to that again. Don't throw anything at our camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah. throw anything at our camera. Yeah. Don't throw uh, anything at our gosh, camera. Call the cops, call the cops, call the cops. <laughs> so the cops were not called because we came downstairs here for the live shot, but we I've never seen anything like this. Somebody coming out, threatening to punch a reporter, actually throwing a rock several rocks at a report this dude is worth a million dollars and he's he, he he knows everybody in the game he's rubbed shoulders with everybody it's just it's, it's no hope man <laughs> yeah like i was about to say he's probably calling somebody to get picked up in a rolls royce and still yeah <laughs> yo but but here's what gets me right it's like you just got out of like jail for a long time like at least if you're going to do something like this, like at least get away from the jail, right? Like, you know what I mean? Well, like, how about you know, not do it though? Like, how about just they're filming you because you're a celebrity. <laughs> it's not like you're not a you're a celebrity, so they're filming you leaving jail. Yeah, yeah. Like, like why listen, would you do that? You know. Yeah, it's just so bizarre, man. But it's entitlement. It's a lot of things. It's entitlement, recklessness. It's a whole lot of factors at play. It's, it's just, at the end of the day, though, it does leave you confused. Because when you try to be like an expert on this shit, like, well, it's this and it's that. It's like, yo, what the fuck? And the next story just blows everything you were thinking, all your, all your theories and your fucking strategies out the window, man. Yeah, yeah, he's actually a millionaire. <laughs> like, this is not poverty. Like, this has nothing to do with poverty. Like, just all. think about this, man. Think about this. That girl died last year because of him. Since then, he's been arrested countless times. He's been in jail since September. He's done this. He has just moved on with his life. <laughs> that girl is just dead. Like she's dead. Her one life is over behind this guy. Yep. Jesus Christ. Her life is done over this guy and another guy just as dumb as him. Beefing. That again. Don't throw anything at our camera. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't yeah. throw anything at our camera. Yeah. Don't throw uh, anything at our gosh, camera. Call the cops, call the cops, call the cops. So the cops were not called because we came downstairs here for the live shot, but we I've never seen anything like this. Somebody coming out, threatening to punch a reporter, actually throwing a rock, several rocks at a report at a photographer, hitting him in his ribs and all of this began earlier today and we covered Kodak Black who was in federal court. He was in federal court. He's from Pompano Beach. He was a, before a judge. He accepted a deal pleading guilty to violation of, of his probation. He was sent up here to Broward where he's out. But apparently, you know, he's been in jail since December. He says he has a child being born. Apparently, he's up to his old way. <laughs> he's got a kid on the way. He's just living, man. He's just living a sudden man life, man. <laughs> Shit. He's being aggressive, throwing things at people. And 
much more of this. It's probably by video, some okay. video model, some vixen, some, some Instagram chip, model. Yeah, with a BBL. Some <laughs> chip, yeah. He's just like so unfazed yeah. by any of so this. So now I'm live in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Rosh Lowe, local 10 news. Glad to yeah, man. Um, wow. Um, and look, his fans to defend his behavior online. I saw that. Oh, only on local 10 news, an aggressive encounter between a local 10 news crew and famed rapper Kodak Black. Black had just been released from the Broward County Jail on Wednesday. Local 10's Rosh Lowe and his photographer began to ask him questions, and that's when things suddenly took a dangerous turn. Rosh is live now with how Kodak's fans are reacting after seeing this confrontation. Rosh. Well, first, the headline tonight. Last night, the police were called here, Fort Lauderdale Police, and our photographer had the option to move forward and prosecute on a misdemeanor case. He has decided not to move forward. Not So to you're part of the problem. Now, I get why they're not doing it, because they don't want any problems, because they're afraid. Like, if that guy, if this thing about Kodak Black, right? The, the charge Trump pardoned him for was a drive-by where he dropped the rifle on the scene. And like when they were fleeing, he, he dropped the rifle. <laughs> <laughs> During a drive-by. I don't think anybody got hit, though, or, no, or killed. So nobody got killed. And that's what he got. Like, these are dangerous, reckless people. You know what I'm saying? So maybe yeah. maybe it is the right thing to just not press charges and not have people fuck because they these people got to be out in this public, you know. Say he has to be out in public. He has to be at the scene of shootings and shit like that. So he <laughs> he can't hide. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so it's he probably just, best. It, yeah, he's just like out here, just just out here. Like I'm having a kid. Like you think he want to get out of jail and be like, hey, let me go see my pregnant whatever baby mama no he's like just wilding as soon as he gets out of jail again like and on the jail premises it's, it's just like wow <laughs> yeah or he didn't even they could have easily said hey man um what uh they could have been like man um grand opening grand closing on his ass man. <laughs> but, he, but, but he just like he don't care and then people make decisions like this guy, you know, I'm sure, you know, like, I'm not going to press charges. Yeah, if it was reversed, you know, right. sons would have definitely press charges. And if this white guy, that. listen, if this white guy said you said all lives matter, Kodak Black would be trying to get him fired and shit, man. Come on, man. <laughs> Well, first, the headline tonight. Last night, the police were called here, Fort Lauderdale Police, and our photographer had the option to move forward and prosecute on a misdemeanor case. He has decided not to move forward, not to press charges. In the meantime, as you just mentioned, Kodak Black's fans are reacting. Kodak Black leaving the Broward County Jail Wednesday, throwing rocks at a local 10 photojournalist. You hear the photojournalist say, call the cops. They were called after this outburst by Kodak, where he threatened to punch me. Kodak, you threatened to beat me up too. You threatened to punch me. I did. And this has been the reaction from Kodak's fans. This person encourages me to retire. What you did to Kodak was unforgivable, and I hope the public shames you into retiring. <laughs> no, and, just like and, you said. <laughs> and this is how all the all of I looked through. I remember when this it happened. I did look online on all of the um comments were um in support of Kodak. Um it, it, it really is it, it, it when you see when you see I may I may go to it if they don't show a lot of them on here, but if you see the ratio of comments in support of Kodak Black. <laughs> It really just makes you think, like, wow, like, there is absolutely something wrong with black people, man. Like, it's not like a mix. It's not like, you know, a varying, a varying of views. All of them sided with him. Yeah, but, but, but here's what I don't understand, right? It's like, it's like what you did, like, what did they actually do to Kodak, right? They're like paparazzi. 
they show up, they do their job, right? They but these ain't paparazzi. This is the literal news. This yeah, isn't news. like in your bushes at your house. This is this ain't paparazzi. This is the local news station. Yeah, paparazzi yeah. <laughs> is like hopping out behind your fucking car at your daughter's dance recital. This is this is this is well within the means of you know what I'm saying. <laughs> no matter who would have gotten out, like if a like say. Say a no-name person did like a major crime and they were released on bond. I think people would be here for that, you know, to watch the person <laughs> leave the courthouse. You know what I mean? Yep. Imagine if he had said, you know, you're acting like an animal. Oh, he'd be done. Oh my God. He'd be done. Kodak Black, Charlemagne the God would have been talking about probably crying on fucking Breakfast Club on Monday the next day. Uh, fucking fired. <laughs> fucking yeah, man. It would have been a shame, man. This is what we gotta deal with. You just when we thought that they would have blamed it on Trump, they'd have been like, "See, look, you got pardoned by Trump, but still, that don't save you from racism. Racism <laughs> still jumped out and got you." Yep. Hey, it is. <laughs> or how about this one? Next rock to your big head or this one you need to shut your dumb up if you're gonna harass someone who just got out of jail then you deserve what you get kodak is a human being not an animal i'm living i'm living i'm living it ain't nothing like you seen on bet well reporters routinely oh. speak to people <laughs> leaving jail and yes many times people i like this sequence right here this sequence right here is this is a is really funny <laughs> what you get. Kodak is a human being, not an animal. Kodak is a human being, not an animal. Someone who yo, just got out of jail, yo, like, and you deserve he what jail, you get. Kodak yet. is a human okay. being, not an animal. I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. It ain't nothing like you seen on BET. Well, reporters routinely speak to people leaving jail, and yes, many times people do not want to be on television. In this case, Kodak is a well-known public figure, a hometown hero to many. He just got out of jail after two months after plantation police found him passed out in his car. This was the latest brush with the law for Kodak, and we simply wanted to hear from him. But hundreds of direct messages sounded like this one. Whack reporter, leave people alone trying to make a story when you're harassing people and endangering their lives, low life, or you cry baby. He's throwing rocks. Go sit behind a desk if you don't want to get abused for being nosy. One thing's for sure. Kodak has a loyal following. Perhaps Kodak can sit down and we can talk. The public would love to hear from him. There was never any intention to harass anyone. As I mentioned there in the story, on a routine basis, reporters wait outside the jail to speak to people so they can give their story to the public. See, now he's explaining himself. He's already lost because <laughs> you, you, like, you, yep. did, you did absolutely nothing wrong. And now some people, like an IQ of like 50, like his fans, his fans probably got like a collective IQ of 50. They forced you to grovel and to explain yourself. Gosh. Yeah, man, they're done. The gliders. After done. he threw rocks at you <laughs> and threatened you, <laughs> you had to come out basically. This is an apology. Yeah. He apologizes. Trying to uh, justify his actions. <laughs> sons, wow. of the, sons of the authority. Uh, he's like, okay, okay, listen. <laughs> yeah, but at the wow. same time, okay. sons are calling him nosy. But if George Zimmerman got out of jail and he didn't cover it, man, they'd be on his ass. <laughs> they'd be on his ass. Talk about something. Yo, this they, is. They ain't covering them. He's on the. He's going to apologize. He's he ends up apologizing. He ends up apologizing. One hundred percent of the people agree with the guy who threw rocks at. Him. 
The reporters. If he's a liberal, I don't feel bad for him. Oh yeah, you know he's a liberal. You yeah. know he's a liberal, man. Like this guy, this guy's gotta be a liberal, man. Um, he got he smells like a liberal. He looks like a liberal. Um, Fort Lauderdale, yeah. It just, it's, it's just, it's just wow. It's just wow. Public. And one final note tonight. So this ends it. The photographer does not want to press charges. And as I mentioned there in the story, hopefully we'll be able to sit down and speak with Kodak Black in a more calming, different environment. So now what this does is show him that like, yo, I can do whatever I want and then people are going to grovel and cajole me. Yep. Like he's gonna he's gonna really hurt a a, a, a a um reporter one day because you know sons we don't stop so since he got since he got this out of this one he gonna fucking he gonna like he gonna like he's gonna his crew they gonna like stomp a stomp a reporter <laughs> unconscious next man yeah I'd be care I'd be feel sorry if somebody asked Kodak a question I wouldn't ask a report.